Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so you've clicked that button, so you are probably going to be concerned about your hair. You may well be experiencing hair loss or possibly inquiring on somebody else, but probably it's yourself who's going through that. So first of all, you're not on your own. and A lot of people experience hair loss or hair thinning. I have myself experienced hair loss and patches of my life where um, my hair had really, really suffered from stress, uh, potentially diet, um, bereavement, medication, and surgery. So all of those things have affected my hair in the past and some in the recent years. So everybody's hair loss journey or thinning or whether it be temporary or whether it be uh, progressive and permanent, okay, everybody's hair loss journey and everybody's hair concern is individual to them and everybody is different. I think that very often we get wrapped up as, especially as men, thinking that it's male pattern related baldness you've just got to accept it. Every one of your experience is completely different to you and unique. Now, of course, male pattern related thinning usually follows to some degree of a pattern. Female hair loss uh, or female pattern related thinning, again, there is a sense of a pattern, but sometimes much more generalized thinning over the, over the scalp. Whereas, of course, for men, it is the temples and the crown area to some degree. Now, of course, there are some people who have completely unique different hair, uh, hair loss, which is very, very, uh, very rare and very unique to them, what they're going through. Today, we're going to talk about it generally in regards to hair loss. Okay, so whatever it's from, whatever it's resulted from, these are products which I'm going to talk to you about, which are in my go-to armory uh, to be able to look after and help my hair. As I say, I've gone through hair loss and hair thinning myself. We're not going to talk about that in great depth, um, and we're not going to go into the products in so much depth. I don't want this to be a clip which drags on and on. But what I do want uh, to, to really get out there and hit home with you is that these products work, they do deliver. Now, the one thing what I want to put out there as well is that there are, of course, so many products on the market for hair loss, hair thinning, and stimulating the hair and trying to reverse uh, hair loss or hair thinning, trying to thicken. Now, there are lots of products out there which add bulk and thicken the hair and add volume, but to actually get at that core level of where the hair loss is actually happening on the scalp, okay, and inside the body, because I will always say that our hair health is the expression of good inner health. Okay, so number one, the first thing what you always must do is uh, look at your diet, look at your stress levels, number two, and number three, look at how you are treating your hair. Okay, so let's move into the product. So, of course, if you are going through hair loss, okay, then the first thing what you need to do is you need to start looking after your hair in the bathroom when your hair is wet. So you may think, well, that's common sense. That's pretty standard. No. For me, it took me a very, very long time to actually realize that the products I was using may not actually be helping my hair look as full and thick as possible and potentially help me stimulate the growth. So straight away, the product which I absolutely want to shout about is Neoxin. So straight away, I use Neoxin. Okay, step one and two. Now, these are litre bottles. I think they're actually a bit, no, they're litre bottles and they last and last and last. And I buy mine from Amazon. Now, okay, I know that this is a much more expensive brand, but Neoxin are a absolute I would say industry leader in hair loss, okay, and making and helping you achieve the most thickest, healthiest head of hair possible for you. And they look at it in four different areas. So they look at it in, in terms of density, diameter, and uh, derma purifying. So sorry, that's three. So they look at the density, they look at the diameter of the hair, and they look at the scalp environment. And you could possibly say four because of their styling products as well, which they have too. So shampoo, really, really great product to start. It's really invigorating. It's very awakening. If you have got a sensitive scalp, the only thing I would say of Neoxin is that it is a very strong shampoo. Um, it's not term, it, It's not in terms of the ingredients, but the effect it has on your scalp. And we have to weigh the pros and cons. It's really, really great in terms of if you're losing hair or if you've got thinning hair or if your hair is concerning you. The conditioner is really great at adding body to your hair, texture, volume, and making you feel and making your hair look as though you've got more hair. And it is really great on the scalp environment. Okay. 
However, let's be honest, it does make my hair a little bit more drier in the legs because my hair is on my shoulders now. So if you have got long hair, just hold that in caution, but don't let that scare you off of this product because, of course, there are products out there. For example, leave-in oils, which you can use for fine textured hair. A lot of people will actually think that if their hair is thinning, that they can't use products like that. Lengths and ends, absolutely a must sometimes. It is just that. Sometimes we need that little bit more nourishment, that little bit more moisture, whether it be a leave-in conditioner, whether it be a leave-in oil. So that's this one. But if you're a guy watching this, with short hair, fantastic. If you're a lady watching this there, here, or vice versa, who's got short hair, long hair, whatever, this is a really great system if you are concerned with your hair, whether it be thinning, whether it be hair loss, for whatever reason, this is really, really great. Okay, so next. So, okay, so that's the higher end of the spectrum. So you can get that for around about £20, £25 each. What happens if you don't want to spend that much? Okay, so there there is a woman's version for this, but of course I don't use that. I use the men's version. So this I have used on and off since the age of 16. Um, now I, I'm sure it's 16, maybe 16, 17, 18, but I think from the age of 16 when I just and just left school. Um, and it is Alpizin. So caffeine-based shampoos. Now a lot of people go, oh, well, what's he on about? It doesn't work. So for me, caffeine-based products is very much prevention rather than cure. So if you're just and just starting to notice is uh, notice change in your hair and your hair whether it be whatever texture but if you're seeing more hair in the shower more hair when you're styling then try this because prevention better than cure okay so this is really stimulating it has caffeine in here okay so it has the potential to strengthen your roots and armor your roots against hair loss now i can't guarantee that it's going to work for everybody but it certainly does strengthen that kind of anchoring effect of the hair to the scalp and i do see less hair uh, fall when i use this so moving on from this one okay if you want to boost that effect then and yes okay in terms of cost it is not cheap it has got more expensive in recent years but it is still very cost effective it's a high street product and it's a really great product and if you shop around you can get some good bargains on this one and there's a larger package you can see which i've got here and there's a whole host of different products in the back there, one for sensitive hair, one for uh, graying hair, one for uh, if you're uh, into athletics and sports, there's one for that as well. And of course, the woman's version is plantaire, which again, on the same lines, but of course, slightly different uh, through uh, menopausal hair um, or there is another one which is in a white bottle, which is for younger ladies who may have uh, reduced energy in the scalp. So they may experience hair fall due to a whole host of perhaps stress or, or one thing or another. Lots and lots of things can affect that in young people. So there are products there for men and women, plantar for women, and there's the white bottles for younger ladies. And then as I would say, as you approach, I would say... Um, you can mix and match, but of course, I'd say 40s, 50s and beyond, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s and beyond. Um, of course, Plantair, really, really great system on that as well. And why? Because in my family, we have used so many different products and reviewed so many different products. It is a great product to use, but always prevention better than cure. So if you've got a full sort of very, very see-through uh, head of hair and you're losing so much hair, then those type of products aren't probably going to be the best for you, but they are a great product to use. Okay, and if you want to boost that, so we're talking back now on the men's version here, this leave-in tonic spray. If I don't have any concerns with my hair throughout the year, because our hair is, it, I always think it's quite seasonal. So, for example, as people go into the autumn season, there is uh, there is much more of a, uh, a lot of people see with seasonal hair loss change that can happen. Uh, so, for example, you may lose more hair around the fall season, uh, the summer season when it's really, really hot. You may not have any problems. Um, it may just be that you need a bit more energy. You need that bit more looking after your scalp environment. Or it then could be in the winter time that perhaps you do lose a lot more hair. Um, whatever. It's different for all of us, of course. This, when I don't have any problems, is just a boost of energy for my scalp, as you can see, I'm nearly out of this one. And it is literally that. It's a liquid caffeine energizer, which is cooling, it's soothing, it's awakening, and it really just does add a bit more zing. It gives me energy in my scalp. Um, and I do see a reduction in hair fall when I use this one. So this is a really great product. And men and women can use this. And I know there is a tonic spray for women as well. And then for longer, le uh, longer length hair in women as well, there is a tonic and a shampoo under plant hair. I forgot to mention that one previously as well. And it's always a bit difficult, isn't it, for when you use these products, what sort of ages. So for the Neoxin and the Alpazin, any age. For women, um, the plant hair I know is aimed at very that sort of 
that change in ladies where, of course, the menopause, whatever age that happens, whatever uh, ladies go through in regards to whether it be uh, whether it be health, whether it be through medication or surgery, Plantea would be a really great one to use if just to protect and armor your follicles if you're going through something like that as well. Um, and talking from experience, I've got somebody in my family who's gone through that, and that was a really great product to use then as well. Okay, so I just want to finish up on one more product, which I absolutely love uh, for uh, in the bathroom, looking after your hair. And this is the Decos Technique Vici uh, Laboratories. And this one, it is uh, sold in the high street. But this is a stimulating uh, shampoo. It is a really, really great product. And I've been using this for a couple of weeks now. Um, it's for sensitive scalps as well. It is a really great uh, stimulating shampoo. It's got an amazing smell. Forgive me my pronunciation on here. It's got niacinamide in here and it's got amonaxil. Forgive me. Um, but I know that is a stimulant for uh, hair loss uh, and tries to slow down hair loss and tries to invigorate the scalp environment and really tries to boost the environment, awaken dormant follicles and really gets the energy in the scalp environment so you can enjoy the most healthiest scalp environment and hopefully enhanced hair growth to encourage that healthy hair growth. So it has the potential behind that. I don't want to say it's going to work, but it has the potential. Of course, bearing in mind, everybody's hair uh, is completely different. Everybody's hair loss is completely different. Every experience is different. But these are products which I wholeheartedly recommend through experience. Um, and it is products which I love and just which I absolutely want to shout about because they do work. Okay, so that's that one there. And then on the back of that, uh, with that shampoo, there is the matching conditioner. Now, these are new, which actually was bought for me. I ran out of them. My mum, very, very kindly, bless her, um, went to the town centre earlier on in the week and bought these for me. Um, so this is the fortifying conditioner. So you've got the stimulating shampoo. Okay, with a, it says here, a healthier scalp and hair feels reinforced and looks fuller. Um, and here we've got the Amanaxa, I believe that's pronounced, and niacinamide in here as well. Um, and then we've got AHA and vitamin E. Um, and I can just see on the back here that this uh, product and brand is born from 50 years of uh, pioneering dermatological dermatologically <laughs> uh, support and laboratories and brand behind all of that. So a great wealth of knowledge behind these products as well in science and innovation. So here, fortifying conditioner uh, reinforces the hair fibers and anti uh, complements anti-hair loss uh, treatments. And this boosts the fiber of the hair, energy, amino acids, and ceramides on here. So it looks after the lengths, ends of the hair, and looks after nourishes and awakens the scalp environment. So a really great product. And I absolutely love them really really nice especially if we're going to use a blow dryer throughout your hair afterwards so many products actually have a little bit of a drying effect when you're trying to treat hair loss when you're trying to boost the scalp environment this it, it gives such a sleek smoothness to the lengths and ends of the hair it really does make your hair after you blow dry your hair really amazing really really cool product i absolutely love it okay so we've talked enough about shampoos and conditioners Okay, great. But however, if you are dealing with hair loss, okay, you're going to be wanting to really boost the scalp environment. Now, when I say that, you want something which is going to get to the core of the problem, the scalp area. Okay, so temples and crown uh, for men, ladies, across usually across the top of the head. Okay, so one of my favorites. Oh, we forgot a shampoo conditioner, by the way. So just very, very quickly, this is one which we've recently reviewed on my channel, but I absolutely love, and is the Philip Kingsley Density Shampoo Conditioner. I absolutely love and adore this. It's not necessarily for treating the problem, but it is for making the most and making it appear thicker and fuller of what you have. So I really, really love these. Um, they blow dry absolutely amazing, make your hair fuller, make your hair look thicker, and it just makes your hair all around pretty damn amazing, and I absolutely love them. So Philip Kingsley, have a look on the website or online as well. And all of this, of course, you can buy online. Um, however, the high street products which we looked at are the uh, Decos Technique and the um, Alpazine. Okay, so... Let's get back to what we talk about, so serums. So as we just talked about the Philip Kingsley, one of my ultimate favorites is the Philip Kingsley Density Serum here. So this stuff I absolutely love. So it reduces hair fall and preserves density. Philip Kingsley, of course, comes with a whole huge heritage, uh, innovation, science, top-end treatments. This is brilliant. It also contains one of my favorite ingredients, which is salt pimento. It is in a pipette bottle. Okay, so just like this, and you apply it where you need it. So for me, concerning areas is always on this side, where the stress uh, sort of hair loss area is. And I just like to look after my hairline and the crown area as well. So what is salt pimento? So very, very quickly. So pattern-related thinning for men. Okay, so for example, uh, testosterone is present in all of our bodies. 
byproduct of testosterone, a very, very long word, is shortened to DHT. Now, DHT, okay, for someone who has sensitive hair follicles to DHT, is very much the culprit of hair loss and hair thinning, androlic alopecia. Okay, so male pattern related uh, thinning and in elements, the same for female pattern related thinning as well. So there are some comparisons here, and unfortunately, that culprit of causing thinning hair, so that DHT. So if your follicles, whoever you are, are sensitive to DHT, DHT binds to the follicle root of the hair, okay, and unfortunately strangulates and shrinks the follicle and unfortunately stops it from producing as stronger as, sorry, as strong or as thick or as vibrant or as energized follicle. So over time, as the DHT causes its effect, it disrupts that healthy growth and it strangulates and almost uh, to the point of just doesn't grow anymore. So it strangulates the growth. It's then the follicle can't produce as healthy as hair as it once did. It gets shorter. The life, the growth cycle, sorry, of that hair gets shorter. It's not so strong. It's quite weak downy hair to the point where if you can imagine on a scale that it's strong and healthy hair, then when it starts to have that sensitive effect of the DHT, it gets shorter, it's not so strong, it may fall quicker, it doesn't come back as quick, or it doesn't come back as strong or as full or as thick anymore, and then unfortunately it's taken such a hold on that on that hair root that it just cannot produce hair like it once did before. Hence, hair loss, the sensitive area on a man is a uh, crown area, temple area usually joins to a whole a horseshoe shape and then thins sometimes unfortunately for some men completely on the top for women the effect is gradual thinning usually across the top of the head but never usually complete baldness in women but mainly unfortunately can lead to quite a lot of significant baldness in men so that's that whole a very very quick run through of dht um so sorpamelto is said to uh, to slow down that effect, to break up that effect, and to re-energize the hair follicle, to improve the health and the vitality, and stop DHT in its tracks. Now, unfortunately, there isn't too much evidence out there to support that. It is thought that a lot of people from online have very positive effects of using Sorpamelto. Myself, I would actually say that this really has helped thicken my hairline, and I absolutely love the product. So let's move on. So really, really great product. What else? So I want to talk about, I want to talk to you about one of my favorites, which I've been using for years, and it has changed. It's by Cerioxol. Now, I love Cerioxol shampoo and conditioner, but it's getting increasingly hard to find. But if you can find it, try it, because it's really, really great for thinning hair. It's by L'Oreal Professional. But the serum, I'm so pleased to say it, you can buy this over and over and over. And it is changed now. It is a spray type bottle, but they've changed it so many times. In fact, I've got another version here in front of me. But this is a pipette, okay? And this has the hero ingredient inside here of stemioxidine, 5% with respiratory. And it is Cerioxol by L'Oreal Professional Denser Hair. And it says here that the hair density activating treatment um, improves your scalp hair, uh, your scalp health, sorry, and hair density in six weeks. And this is a product which I have used so many times and I absolutely love it. It's in it's in a glass bottle and if I can actually open it, it's in a glass pipette here and then you just use what you need. Okay. And then as you can see here, and then you just quite simply pipette it where you want it in your scalp. So I always do hairline uh, temples and then I do sort of four lines throughout my scalp. And then I take a moment just to massage my scalp. So here are ingredients, stemioxidine. What is that? So very, very quickly, stemioxidine is an ingredient which is amazing, quite simply, in my eyes and my experience. And I have had some really great benefits from this as well. But if we look at the hair growth cycle, okay, and just very quickly, when the hair when the hair falls from the follicle, okay, to when it starts growing again, that window, okay, there is where stemioxidine works its magic. I believe that's called canogen, that window. And then in that period of time, stemioxidine shortens that period of time. So therefore, the hair is stimulated to grow much, much quicker. So that window where there is no hair in that follicle is sped up, it's enhanced, it's in encouraged to grow much more quicker, healthier, it stimulates dormant follicles, so therefore it has the potential, okay, to invigorate growth more, to help uh, the health of hair follicles, and to speed up that process of getting hair growing once again. So there, if you think about it, 
when you would have gaps in your scalp under a microscope where hair is waiting to come through, and it's quite gappy, with stomyoxidone, you have the potential of growing through much more thicker hair, much more uh, abundant hair, much more stimulated and healthier hair and resistant to those nasty products uh, which build up in the scalp environment, which inhibit and slow down hair growth. So stomyoxidone is a real potent formula to really keep things healthy, to really keep things strong and invigorated, and to really help against hair loss and to help you in your battle of having the most healthiest, most great head of hair for you. So semi-oxidine is really, really great for that. What is resveratrol? Resveratrol is a antioxidant, which I believe is derived from a Japanese plant, and that says on the back of my other product here, and that in my eyes, anyway, it is an ingredient which works with stemioxidine, which helps the vitality of the follicle, it helps the energy, it helps your overall health. It's often found in skincare products as well, and it is, uh, it's an ingredient which really basically goes to town, works its wonders, improves the health and vitality of the hair follicle, and really works par and par with stomyoxidine to help achieve thicker and healthier hair growth. So stomyoxidine for the hair, respiratory on getting things balanced, much more healthier, much more health improved, um, and yes, that overall invigoration of helping you achieve much more healthier scalp environment, so you can in turn have healthier, thicker hair growth, and much more stronger, and that anchoring effect in the scalp, much more resistant hair. So stomyoxidine, breast spiritual, really great ingredients. And I absolutely love them in this product. So moving on, and I've actually, I've loved it that much. I'm using it so much at the moment. Um, so every night I use this. Um, and this is a different version here, but they've changed it again with a sprayer on the top of the bottle as well. But really, really great. And as I say, it comes in a bottle like this, and it's in a glass bottle. And then you've got the pipette just here. And as you can see, Really luxurious looking product, really great product. I use this at night time, only to use it at night in the areas where you need it. It works in, in harmony with your body whilst you're, whilst you're asleep. So that repair, that revitalization. Um, and yeah, hopefully waking up some dormant follicles there for you as well. Moving on, the next product, which I absolutely love is by, uh, the Decos Technique Densi Solutions, which we've already looked at the Vici Laboratories. This in here has the, uh, stomyoxidine and respiratory. Um, now this doesn't say 5% stomyoxidine in here. Okay. So I'm not sure how much stomyoxidine is in here, but this is a product which I love. It's on a spray bottle here. Okay. Now this is the new one, which I bought actually today when I went out, but I have got one, which is about half the way through. It's on the opposite side of the room. I do apologize. Um, but this is Really, really great. On the front here, it says for thinning and sparse hair. It's got the respiratory, which we've talked about, and here's got the stomyoxidine here. So the version from this product uh, of the respiratory here, we have got... Uh, Densa Solutions is arranged designed to strengthen hair and provide visible thickness and volume day after day. This concentrated scalp care acts intensively for visibly stronger and denser looking hair with each application. And in here, we have got the Respiratrol, which is derived from a Japanese plant known as Long Livity Molecule. Respiratrol is also known and used as an antioxidant in skin care solutions. Stomyoxidine is a painted molecule with clinical tests to help improve hair density and has been the subject of scientific publications. It's really great. It doesn't leave the hair greasy. It gives a cooling effect, a really stimulating effect. And I think after about two weeks of using this, I can always feel like sort of cactus hair-like prickles coming through in the areas where I use it. So for me, it's about two to three weeks before I see an effect with this and with this one here. And it is really, really great. And I use these two on and off throughout the year just as a boost for my hair, almost like as a hair tonic for uh, areas of my hair, which concerns me. So really, really great. Um, absolutely wholeheartedly recommend them. Okay, so moving on, very, very conscious of time. It's important, of course, to look after your scalp environment with serums, fantastic. Shampoos, conditioners, absolutely great. Of course, diet, stress, reducing your stress right down. And just then taking a moment to perhaps concentrate a little bit more on realizing that your body is a temple. And if you're not looking after it, then unfortunately, how on earth can you expect to have healthy, abundant amounts of hair? So on that note, one of the products I absolutely love to supplement my hair, and I have had a very good experience with in the last couple of months, is Hair Gain. So this is Hair Gain capsules. I don't know if you can quite see it. Just hold it this side. Hair Gain capsules here. And in here, we have got Anagain Organic Pea Shoot Extract, which is the hero ingredient in here as well. And we have got Bamboo Shoots Extract. We've got Vitamin E, Vitamin C, Biotin, Niacin, Palatic Acid, and Zinc. So really great ingredients in here. Hair gain capsules combine organic pea shoot powder with MSM uh, silica 
uh, L-proline, zinc, and essential vitamins gain nutritional support for the maintenance of healthy hair. It is two capsules two capsules a day. I take one in the evening, as you can see. Um, and in here, you get enough for a month. And it's really good. Um, and I use these for, I think I want to say a four to six month period. Um, and I had really great experience the last time I had stress hair fall here. Um, and it really did invigorate my hair growth and thicken up this area here. So whenever I have hair concerns, that is a supplement which I absolutely recommend and I really, really love. Um, it's, it's great on your stomach. It doesn't give you an uncomfortable or an irritability in your stomach at all. It is a product I love. It's soft and gentle, and it's just really nice and works. Okay, bear in mind, it's not a hell of a cure. Okay, it is something which is said to stimulate, help thicken, and improve the overall health and integrity of your hair. Okay, so moving on. Now, this is one which might not be for everybody because, unfortunately, it does have a bit of a smell. So this is by the store Holland & Barrett's, which is known here in the UK, and I know it is across Europe and different parts of the world as well. But this is men's hair vitamins. Now, I know there are many vitamins out there for women's hair, but not many for men. But in here, the reason why I want to talk to you about this is saw pimento and fenugreek. So both of which are natural herb products which is said to have a real positive effect on stimulating, number one, hair loss and having an impact on the effect of the DHT, that real disastrous effect on hair growth in men and women. So supplemental is said to improve and stop um, DHT in its tracks. To, to remove buildup, to invigorate hair, to energize hair, and really overall just allow the hair to grow much more healthier, fuller, and allow that hair cycle to flourish and grow as it should do without the interruption of DHT. Now, unfortunately, it's not going to cure the process, but it will help and inhibit much more healthier hair. Okay, or assist in healthier hair, I should say. Okay, fenugreek said to do very much the same thing, but works slightly different in the body as well. But again, very, very good for healthy uh, hair and for slowing down hair loss. And potentially, with salt pimento, helping achieve and regrow, potentially, in some people, thicker hair and, re and reversing that period. Of course, you can't guarantee that, but it certainly holds the, the potential. Okay, so the only thing I would say with fenugreek is the smell, and I've used, because I love cooking myself, um, my mum and my nan taught me to cook, and um, I love cooking, and I love Mediterranean cooking, and I've used fenugreek uh, seeds before in cooking, because um, I love Greek cookery, um, but in here, honestly, the smell, it's enough to knock you sideways, it really, really is. Um, but it doesn't affect my stomach. It doesn't give you an irritability. It doesn't give you indigestion or anything like that. And you can't smell it on your breath, which is, of course, absolutely amazing. It's the last thing you want, isn't it? Let's be honest. Um, but a really great uh, vitamin all the same. And I've been taking these for about two weeks now. And I think, not in terms of hair, but they are really improving my skin because I do suffer with dry skin as well. Because in here as well is zinc, biotin and copper too. Why copper? Because it's said to help us to hold on to our natural hair pigment, uh, colour pigment, and really try to halt any grain premature process. I'm not sure how much confidence I have in that, but it's worth a try. Prevention is always better than cure. There we have it. So there were my products which I have in my go-to armoury of looking after and keeping my hair as thick and full as possible. A lot of my subscribers ask me, Bradley, what do you use on your hair? How is your hair um, improving your hairline? Um, because I have gone through hair loss. I absolutely have um, in my life. And unfortunately, when I get stressed, it usually means that my hair, some of it, lets go of my scalp. Now, unfortunately, with the greatest will in the world, all the products in the world you can use for your hair, unfortunately, you're going to go through that, whether it be stress uh, loss or it could be alopecia areata or one of those sort of nasty autoimmune uh, hair uh, lost conditions, then sometimes some of these things won't necessarily work and be as effective for you. Um, but they really will help you achieve the healthiest head of hair for what you have. For male pattern related thinning, for female pattern related thinning, or temporary hair loss, um, then this is going to be great at really keeping that scalp in balance, or looking after and invigorating, and helping you achieve the thickest hair possible for you, which of course, it is a huge thing for everybody. And Hair loss, it's not just something we can accept, but unfortunately it is a battle. It's not something you can just use one week and it's and you're cured from it. There is no cure for hair loss. Um, it is very much a thing which we have to look after. And I look at it as, if you're going to use a product for hair loss, 
And I know this is not the same, okay, but I'm going to leave you with this comment. I always think of it as, you wake up in the morning, you brush your teeth. You wouldn't not brush your teeth. In the evening, you wouldn't not brush your teeth. You wouldn't not wash your face, okay? Now, I know it's not the same, but if you get into the mindset that if you want healthy hair growth, and if you want to have a healthy, luscious head of hair, which you can style for years and years and years, hopefully into your 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s and beyond, okay, going to be one of those routines but have faith you can have great fun with all of these different type products as well because they do install different styles they do install different texture in the hair fullness thickness just give it a try okay i really really hope that you've enjoyed this uh clip it has been an absolute pleasure to share all of my uh all of my products which i absolutely love my go-tos in the battle against hair loss so Hope you can join me on that, and I wholeheartedly recommend them. If you want to know more, then please leave a comment down below, and I'll do my utmost best to get back to you as quick as I can. Okay, so for now, God bless, take great care, and I'll be seeing you real soon, and thank you very much. Bye for now.